32 minutes to Matras, Express Lane, Savia 11. It's 52 minutes to O'Hare, about an hour and 20 coming in from O'Hare, 55 minutes in off the Eden. Up on side of the Ike, 45 to Mannheim, an hour to Route 390, about an hour and 7 coming in from 390, 35 minutes in from Mannheim. Up on Stevenson, not crazy, it's 37 to the Tri-State, 50 minutes to 355. Inbound an hour and two coming in from Veterans, 37 minutes in from the Tri-State. Up on Dan Ryan takes 50 minutes. Inbound takes 30, 57 out 22. Pretty slow as you approach I-80 due to an issue at Vollmer. Inbound 17. Up on Bishop 420, inbound good. South on Lecture Drive, heavy north, most of the way from Grand Park, 47 to Hayes. Northbound is uh, busy McCormick Place all the way up to Chicago Avenue. Slammed both ways on the Tri-State, but looking at 355-53, here's Trent Air Spot here, Mobile 780. Eastbound 80 delayed start. It's Kedzie. They take you to Burr or eastbound 8094. Westbound 8094 slow. 65 in spots to Kennedy, but looking good so far. 9465 and even the Indiana Toll Road. So we're sponsored by Amco Transmissions and Total Car Care. Amco Transmissions and Total Car Care offers up to 12 months interest free payment plan. And their exclusive powertrain systems check is free. Search AAMCO for a location near you. That's AMCO. Transmissions and a whole lot more. Get traffic and weather together on the 8th every 10 minutes on News Radio 780 with 105.9 FM. Thank you for the forecast tonight. It's going to be a warm, muggy evening for you with a low at 70 and a chance for a stray shower and thunderstorm. And also tomorrow, Independence Day, slow moving shower and thunderstorm around the high of 88. We're at 84 in the airport, the lakefront 74 and 74 in the Now the market watch today down with 179 points. NASDAQ up 61, the SP up about 23. WB News Time, 420. Our top story this hour is a pre holiday sweep by Chicago police. That first deputy superintendent, Anthony Riccio, says resulted in dozens of arrests and the seizure of about 40 firearms. One of the assault rifles that we recovered has a drum on it capable of holding 100 rounds of ammunition, and it's in the hands of a street gang member. That's, that's a pretty scary thing. And WBB gives Mark Krause will have much more on this story coming up at 431. WBBM News Time, 421. Erica Sargent standing by live in the CBS 2 newsroom with a look at what's ahead on the CBS 2 News at 5. Erica, changes being made at Navy Pier to protect those celebrating the 4th of July this year. Yeah, the pier packed in tens of thousands of people for the 4th, but last year's storms caused confusion as people raced to safety. So tonight we're asking what is being done differently. We learn at 5. At 6, Pam Zekman of the Games of Ambulance Response Times in Chicago. Pam's been documenting slow times for the past several years. Today, she went to the fire commissioner to find out how things have changed since they added more ambulances. The surprising answer at 6. Keep them in touch. Thank you so much, Erica Sargent. More of these and other stories coming up on the CBS 2 News at 5 and 6. Well, gas station owners, especially near the border, are already feeling the pinch after that major hike in fuel prices this week. The price of a gallon of gas at Keenan Sons went from 309 to 335 overnight. Raleigh Keen owner says his two businesses on Chicago's south side are already losing business to the border. The location on 111th and Tallman is only about a 20 minute drive from Indiana. And, uh, you know, people have been going there for years, and this is just going to continue to push them to continue going to Indiana. And he says, well, business is down for now. His stations are full service and unique, so he hopes that next will keep his loyal customers coming back once the sticker shock eases. There are new developments in the case of a black man shot by a white police officer in Indiana. A judge has appointed a special prosecutor to look into a white police officer's fatal shooting of a black man in South Bend where Democratic presidential candidate Pete Buttigieg is mayor. Richard Hurdle is Ripley County prosecutor. He will now oversee the investigation into the June 16th shooting of 54-year-old Eric Logan to determine whether criminal charges should be filed. The St. Joseph County prosecutor wanted the independent prosecutor. Buttigieg had wanted an independent investigator. Cisco Cotto News Radio 105.9 FM. Rally on Wall Street continues this week. We'll check the numbers from Bloomberg coming up. WBBM News Time 422. No matter what type of business you're in, having a strong business banking partnership can help your bottom line. I'm Jeff Founding, president of Cornerstone National Bank and Trust Company. We strongly believe that trust, service, and relationship are the cornerstone of a successful business banking partnership. Customers like Dr. Dan Cusis of Core Orthopedics and Sports Medicine agree. Hi, my name is Dr. Dan Cusis of Core Orthopedics. With locations in Oak Grove Village and Hoffman Estates. As a business owner, I needed a bank that would be able to quickly respond to market opportunities and provide me with sound financial guidance, allowing me the time to focus on the needs of my patients. I have found all that and more with Cornerstone National Bank and Trust Company. By providing core of the PX with a line of credit and construction financing, Cornerstone has proved to be a valuable business partner for a growing practice. That's why
Likewise, since 2007, Cornerstone National Bank has been the bank where we belong. Thanks, Dr. Cusis. Please visit cornerstonenv.com, where I invite you to give me a call at 847-543-1000 to explore a business banking partnership. Cornerstone National Bank and Trust Company, member FDIC. WSI and 423, and from the IncomeStore.com business desk, check in with Bloomberg. Just well as Wall Street's record books need a rewrite after the abbreviated pre-holiday session as all three key indexes closed at all-time highs on gains of right around 7 tenths percent. The Dow Jones Industrials rose 179 points to 26,966. The Nasdaq closed 61 points higher. The S&P 500 added 23. Tesla shares gained 4.6%. The company delivered a record number of its electric vehicles in the second quarter. Private companies were still hiring last month, but the number of workers added to payrolls was smaller than expected. ADP said the companies added 102,000 workers in June. The nation's trade gap widened more than 8% in May to $55.5 million. The Commerce Department reports imports were up 3.3%. Exports were up 2%. And home loan demand declined slightly last week, according to the nation's mortgage bankers. With business now at 23 and 53 past each hour from the Bloomberg Newsroom, Jeff Bellinger, News Radio 780 and 105.9 FM. DriveChicago.com, your only source for pre-owned vehicles in Chicagoland. Buy from a dealer you can trust. Thousands of high-quality late model vehicles, many coming off lease right now. Log on, DriveChicago.com. You know MJ Miller & Company as the trusted family jeweler when trading in unwanted gold, silver, and diamonds. But did you know they also sell gold and silver coin and bullion? This is important due to the uncertainty in the market. Gold prices are on the rise, and so are the scams. Choosing the right gold dealer is almost as critical as the item.